With the snow pretty much melted off now, all seems back to an average February day in Texoma with schools and businesses back to normal. Also back on schedule, Meals on Wheels routes to clients who rely on those meals every day but haven't been able to get one because of that winter weather. Zach Verdia saw what this means to clients and drivers today, right Zach? That's exactly right guys. You can tell that after years of driving some of these routes, a real bond is formed. So when the winter weather shut down so much, many drivers were ready to get back today to check on those clients. It was definitely another busy morning at Meals on Wheels. After winter weather forced them to close their doors, All right, thank you. and with the snow melted, those who pitch in to help, like 10-year volunteer Andy Wilson, are eager to check on their clients. Whatever, I haven't seen my people for a few days. You know, of course, the first thing I wonder, you know, of course, I'm I wonder where they're, eat, where they're eating, really. The regular routes for last Thursday and Friday were canceled, so it's always a welcome sight. How'd you enjoy the, the weather? I love it. <laughs> you know I love it. For everyone involved. I know you probably don't. <laughs> no, I stuck, they stuck inside. Just to be able to see their face and check on to make sure they're all right and that they, you know, just to see them walk to the door, I'll know that they're all right to get their meal. Good yeah. morning. And that's from four year volunteer oh, Eleanor good Williams. Good Have a good one. To two year Meals on Wheels driver Rob Noble. And I deliver between one, two, three, four, sometimes five meals a day. When the, whoever, when a volunteer doesn't show up, that's when I drive. I just enjoy the people. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I enjoy the people here and I enjoy the clients that we call on. Got it? Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Okay. Not only getting back into the everyday routine, but also going beyond just making sure they get their meals. Yeah, I, I see quite a few people, and you know, I'm, yeah, I'm sure they appreciate it quite a bit. They usually say thank you and everything like that. So, you know, that's good. That's good to hear. <laughs> Helping those in your own community while creating lasting bonds. So for those like Williams, pitching in is a no-brainer. Well, you know, do something with that free time that I have to help people. You know, I hope that someday somebody will help me. I might be in this situation one day. Bye. Bye. And of course, they are always needing drivers. And when they don't have enough, Rob Noble in that story there picks up those routes. And he had three separate routes today all by himself. So you can find more about getting involved on driving with Meals on Wheels in this story over on our website. It'd be great to see some volunteers come up because you see just how much they're appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. And if Rob's picking up three different routes, <laughs> they need sure em. need them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zach, thanks so much.